That's right. It's over. 354 videos have been produced, mostly based in this room. And not one more video will be produced here, which is pretty sad. So I just wanted to kind of let everyone know that um, it's over. That's kind of it now. And I'm not going to be filming any more battles here again. This is going. This. The, the models are going. And the board is going as well. And you won't see it again. Here. And that's because it's here. Come on in. Oh yeah, I remembered the I'm on my own. I don't have a cameraman. So this is it. Kind of empty right now, as you can see. I'm, I'm like still setting up. Uh, we've only just started like working in here and uh, basically I had to like empty the room and lay the carpets. And because it's so empty, if you listen, it's like really, really reverby. So we've got like a bunch of rock wool and uh, like insulation to build some acoustic panels. Uh, but this is the, Hel the Hellstorm Building Studio. Now it's not like a huge studio, it's not crazy like massive, but this is actually based in Sanctuary Gaming Centre, one of our like where we run our tournaments, like our partners, let's say. They're like a super cool bunch of guys and ladies who work here. I really like love their store and I'm like really excited to be like working closer with them. So they've like kindly um, allowed us to like move into this room and turn into a cool studio. So like basically like you said you said that this is like a service window and um, this is rubbish ignore this we're gonna have like a cool wall here which will be like the display wall this is where all the memes will go it's gonna be like cool wood effect right hear me out it's gonna be a cool wood effect on here right on this bit on this right the, the table will be here like like this like here Right, if you're like a bar of course, when everyone stands behind a table, you have a dice box, and you go, ha ha ha, yeah, and the camera's over there, we, we talk to you over there, as you can see. But this is where the table's gonna be, okay? And then we're gonna have like the mixing desk around here, and, and then you will actually like there, where you can't quite see the wall, but you can't quite see the door either. And then this service window obviously will be, will be gone. We've got like this. And then this is gonna go on the wall to make like cool wood stuff. So that's like the plan for the display wall. Um, and then when we're filming, you'll only see that wall. We're gonna have some like shelves, we're gonna have like some cool stuff on, so maybe like a man Blood Raven's helmet, and then maybe like the frame picture of Valrak will be up there. And then the bits you won't see, but you will see while you're on the studio update, is like here we'll have all the models. And then over here, this is the installation. We can have some, like, some racking for the terrain. And then this freezer, which is not staying here, right? This part, there's a cool window. I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that. But this part, we're gonna have like a sofa, right? Basically what I'm thinking here is like when we film, like when we have guests, we can like film like sit down chatty videos. Like kind of like we can me and the guest or whoever, or someone else and someone else can sit on the sofa and like chat with each other. And then we can like film it and we can have like a camera set up here like looking pretend the freezer is a sofa you know you can have them chit chit chatting doing other things and then like that'll be that bit there and then you'll have the table here and then you have the model there and Jody's already got a plan to up um, <laughs> I haven't really planned what I wanted to say in this bit but I'm saying it all out loud and I'm really really excited like look I drew it I actually drew it out I don't know how well you can see this but like you got like the mat here that's the table this is where the people stand and then this is like the mixing desk and this is the camera. This is the sofa and the chair either there or there. And then some racking in the corner and this is the door. So this is how the studio is going to be. Again, it's like not like a humongous space, but I'm doing what I can. And I'm really excited because the dining, I've been filming in that dining room for like four years now. Um, but before that, I lived in a shared house where I used to have to like get everything out, film and then put it all away and basically take over the downstairs because that, that dining room was... What we used to film it, because we've always filmed in Danny. And basically that was like the through way to get outside and everything. So if you wanted to film, and um, you had people like walking behind you if you wanted to go out in the kitchen. It was, just, it was just a nightmare. And then 
Then I moved into the new place with my old housemate and now Georgie. And the dining room is great. It's just tight. It's just too small. It's not quite big enough. Whereas this is like, like nearly 30% wider that way and nearly 50% wider this way, which is like a humongous difference. I don't think I'll be doing like, I'm not going to be like editing here. And I'm not going to be doing the Monday or Wednesday streams here probably, unless I'm like doing something because they'll still be done at home and I'm actually rearranging everything at home. But the battle reports, like the live ones we do every Thursday and then the filmed ones, which will be coming a lot more because I need to make space. I mean, I need to, if I'm going to be paying for a space, I need to use it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that, that's all going to be done here in a cool place. And the, the main thing, the, the, probably the biggest benefit, like I can be like, yeah, I've got a cool studio and I'm going to be filming here. The main benefit is that I'm not filming games in my house anymore, which means it's more likely that I'll be able to invite people like yourself who are watching at home to come and film in my studio. We can go for a coffee or a, or a Sunday or monsters. I like monsters, you see. Um, we can we can have a drink in there and then we can like play a game in here. I don't want to stand here and be like, yeah, I've got a studio and I'm the best and this and that. Because like, yes, it's a great benefit for me, but I can invite you up and we can play a game. Or if you're playing a tournament, like one of our tournaments, we'll actually be streaming games from here. Because that's something we've always wanted to do. It's like run tournaments, stream the tournament. And we've just not really been able to because it's just too much manpower to set everything up, to set the entire tournament up and then stream it. Whereas the stream table will always be here because it'll already be set up. So like for example, just outside the door, that's like an entire gaming hall. So this is like where the tournaments and stuff happen. I'm like super excited. Again, I wanted to do this unscripted because I wanted it to be like a, a flow of consciousness. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. And I want to say massive thank you to um, Sanctuary for like helping me be able to do this. I want to say massive thank you to you guys at home for like supporting me and my content and my team's content with like all the people who are involved with the channel already and the super prominent figures on the channel. And I want to say a massive thank you to them as well because without them being able to help me play Warhammer on the telly, I won't be doing this either. So <laughs> it's pretty boss. Um, but what I will say is if I've got this, this is now an added expense. And I'm not going to say give me money, but if you do want to support the channel, you can just like and share the video, you know, if you want to support. Like it, leave a comment. I don't know, leave like big big studio buses in the comments <laughs> but like if you want to do that or you can become a member that's like one of the most direct ways to support us you get uh, access to the premium side of the discord um, and that's super cool there's loads of cool people in there and i post like i've been posting updates about this for the past week so if you're not in there you haven't known about it but if you were in there you would have known about it if you want to like we've been keeping it on the dl you know or if you want to and um, we obviously have our merch store. We have two. We have hellstormwargame.co.uk slash shop where we sell merchandise uh, for helping your game, such as like squad markers, which is our newest product, which have been super popular, uh, objective markers, and dice are coming back soon. But if you like this jumper or you like any of our old designs, any of our old t-shirt designs that you've seen, they're all now available at hellstormapparel.com because like I've spent a lot of money in this. So. <laughs> <laughs> if you buy t-shirts that helps me but we're selling every single design available in t-shirts hoodies you know all this shebang if you want to check it out that'd be really cool and um why don't you use why don't you use like code code um use code like studio <laughs> is that a good discount code maybe but use code studio at checkout when buying a t-shirt and you'll get a discount um for like until I'm back streaming. So like maybe like the next week or two. Um, so, so grab a t-shirt, grab a discount with code studio. Uh, that'd be really cool. Cause then that all that money, just going back into this and going back into like creating the full content. And this <laughs> reverb is really annoying and I hate it. But yeah, that's about everything from this end. So we'll go back to past me, potentially future me to round it out. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I hate myself. It's actually future me because I recorded this yesterday and I didn't like, I realized I really needed to shave. So, <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is exciting. I filmed 354 videos. That's a but videos that have been either filmed or like produced or streamed in here that have been created into another video. And, um, it's quite, 
it's quite interesting. It's quite mad. I've just been looking back. The first video that was made in here was the 10th of June in 2018. So almost four years ago that I moved into this place and started making videos in here. And that table has pretty much never moved since. Those lights have pretty much been the same place the entire time. Um, the rest of the room moved around loads. But obviously, like I showed off like this. So this is just like this bottom of the board is just full of terrain now. And this is kind of like one of the reasons that we're moving. It's just the problem is it's just storage in this room, which is understandable. I mean, I, I mean, my, I can't show you over there, but like that's just my front room there. And then like it's just it just dominates the entire house. So like moving it into somewhere its own space is going to be super mega. And uh, I want to thank everyone for supporting me again and being able to do this. But with great power like being me comes great responsibility and what this does mean there is going to be a few changes on the channel which i kind of want to let you know about now i don't know how many people will see this video but and it's going to upset some people um i don't know if it will i might be overthinking it which i usually do so um one of the main changes is that we've been producing battle reports for a long time and um we've had a website hellstormwargaming.co.uk which um, we've been putting premium battle reports on and having like a premium subscription as well as YouTube members as well. Um, now, I understand that this might upset you, but um, I personally feel that I can't keep up like competing with like other subscription services from other um, from other channels as it were. As well as like trying to compete with like Warhammer Plus who are producing their own like subscription service. It's not something that I think I can keep up doing. Um, so like whilst it's going to sound crap, you kind of have to look at it from like the wider picture that I'm not going to be producing um, like premium paywalled content anymore. Which if you are a paying subscriber for that reason, I am truly sorry. And um, if you would like to discuss like your situation then drop me a message on like facebook or instagram or something or discord even we can kind of work that out whilst that is kind of rubbish the subscription models aren't going um obviously like we're just going to be making all of our content free pretty much like we might produce some like behind the scenes videos or some paywall content for like special occasions but it's not going to be like a routine thing and the content on the website and like membership only content has dwindled uh, quite significantly for this reason because i've been planning it for a while i've just not really had a good time to do it at the same time i'm like oh well i'm not going to be making premium content that is like a massive like revenue income for me that, that directly supports me and the channel and will eventually support the studio because we are just going to be making all of the content free now so all of the battle pros that we produce will be a lot more frequent because we're not like um and ah whether we're going to put it on premium or whether it's going to be on here uh, we can just focus on putting them on the channel and growing them as a whole so if you are a premium member of the website you'll continue to get a discount on the web store if you are a premium member on youtube um, you'll continue to get access on discord to the premium me members area only um, and that's going to be kind of like the benefits. And I am going to be looking at more benefits for people who are directly supporting us right now. Um, it's just not going to be paywall content anymore because it's kind of, again, it's just hard to keep up. I don't think I can keep up. And we weren't growing at the rate I needed to be able to like hire someone else to help me edit to keep up with the content that other people are producing. It's just, it's just a really heavily saturated market for that thing. And outside of our little bubble, um, outside of like wargaming YouTube, like paywalling content is like really not a thing. <laughs> um, and I, d I don't want to be like in that competing market anymore. I just can't do it. I'd rather produce way more games and videos for the channel to grow the channel. Like I appreciate every single person who has subscribed throughout, uh, like on the website or on, on YouTube membership throughout the years. And um, I am really, really thankful. And I really did give it a go. And I did, it did help me get to this position. So I cannot thank you enough. It's just, I can't, I can't keep up. It's not something I can keep doing because I just, it's just not growing the rate that it needs to, to be sustainable. It's just unsustainable. So I am going to have to like call it quits in that regard. But the main benefit is that the all content will be free, whether you're a subscriber or not. Or well, 90% of content, like we're not going to be making paywall battle reports anymore. And we haven't for a while anyway. So I want to say a massive thank you to anyone who's subscribed on the website in the past or is currently a subscriber. And anyone who's subscribing on YouTube as a member, that is like super cool. And I do really appreciate it. And like I, can only, I can't expect you to continue if you're only wanting extra content. But every single person that does um, is like is doing me 
hundreds of favors. <laughs> I owe you lots of fate not those sort of favors. I owe you a lot of favors. <laughs> now, I will be adding an extra couple of tiers on YouTube as a join membership feature, um, such as I'll be adding the 3D printer memberships if you watch me for just 3D printing content or you just like 3D printing content. I'll be adding um, a membership for there and they'll all be linked to our Discord, which you can join with the link in the description and they'll give you different access to different areas of the discord for example if you'd like to join for the 3d printing membership then you'll get access to the extra parts of the 3d printing areas of discord including all the resin settings and all the printing settings that i use as well as a lot of the files that i use if i find cool files um, or i produce my own files i'll make them available for free in there for example if i have stls i'll probably make stls free in there or where i might actually be selling them on my website if you have a membership for 3d printing you'll get them free that's kind of like one of the things that we're going to be making a change of and again thank you everyone who subscribed in the past and everyone who continues to subscribe into the future thank you very much another big change that we're going to be making is that uh, we're going to be making the monday wednesdays and thursday live streams so the monday that warhammer talk show the wednesday chat show and the thursday bat reports they're all live and currently we stream them to both youtube and twitch but we're going to be moving all of those streams just to youtube exclusively um the problem is with having Twitch and YouTube is it makes like running the stream a lot more complex than it could be than just running to one single platform. And it opens up a lot of the things that we can do, which we can't do on both currently. Um, now, it might it might suck if you are a Twitch viewer or a Twitch subscriber again. And again, I kind of said this part of the video would be upsetting people and I am really sorry. Uh, but thank you to everyone who has subscribed either for free with Twitch um, or like paid membership, a uh, paid subscription. And I want to give a special thank you to Moon Tyranid, who has been subscribed for, I think, 58 or 59 months now, um, which is pretty mad. So thank you, Moon Tyranid, personally, for being our longest subscriber to anything ever. Um, now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to be streaming on Twitch ever. Um, it's just going to be more casual basis because with this move, like obviously I'm moving all of this and I'm actually moving my desk with all my painting stuff. So I'm actually going to be bringing painting streams back. It's not all doom and gloom, guys. Painting streams, hand streams are coming back. And I'm going to be painting on stream a lot more during the day or like random evenings over the weekend and stuff like that. It's something that I've always wanted to do and I've not been able to do because I've just had so many... It's just never like it's not all fit i've either had to be a painting streamer or i've had to be a battle report presenter uh, i haven't been able to make it all work at the same time and i hopefully going to be able to do that now currently i'm not sure if i'm going to be streaming the painting streams to youtube or twitch because it won't be both i don't know which one i want to stream to i'm potentially thinking twitch but do not quote me on that if it ends up being on youtube it ends up being on youtube um but that's something that people enjoy and it's something that i enjoy doing and i haven't been able to do properly for a while it's always been janky setups because my computer's in one place my painting stuff's in another but that's all going to be in one room so i'm going to be able to bring those back which is going to be amazing um so let me know convince me should i stream the painting on twitch or should i stream it to youtube i'm asking on youtube the con the answer is going to be very biased <laughs> but that's like kind of it like with like we have good news we have bad news and I just wanted to be like open and honest about everything. I didn't want to kind of like be like, yeah, there's all oh, this is happening. And then just kind of like forget the rest because there are some changes. And I think overall it's going to be better for me. And it's going to be better as a viewer for you guys. Cause it's going to be more centralized pretty much like all of the content is going to be on YouTube and it's all going to be free. Um, and again, if you don't want to subscribe anymore, or you don't want to financially support me in that way anymore because of that, I totally understand. Um, but maybe if you want to, you could do that today because it's actually, it seems daft because I'm going, well, I'm actually being in the most expensive time of my life with Hellstorm War Gaming, but I'm also <laughs> making everything free, <laughs> which seems backwards and maybe it is, but it's only one way to find out, I suppose. <laughs> So, so I'm going to round this out now. That's about everything, guys. I thank you very much for watching. If you've made it this far, then I really, really appreciate it. Um, it's a new chapter. That's all it is. It's, it's season two. We've been running this season for four years now with the same writers, and it's kind of come to its end, and it's just come. It's too big for its own boots, and it needs new characters, new location. I mean, there's not going to be new. The, the same characters are coming back just to confirm, but we need a new location, and um, I'm really excited to share it with you. So, um, 
if you're watching this as it comes out, I'm actually going to be streaming on Sunday, Sunday the 23rd. It's actually my birthday, uh, but I am going to be at the studio probably working. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to do like a test stream there and see what it looks like. And uh, maybe we'll like have a chat and do a bit of an update, which would be really fun. Um, but if you hate me now because of all the announcements and thank you very much for watching and um, I'll see you again soon. I'm going to I'm gonna be off for another week or so while I'm finished off setting up. But again, join Discord, especially in the premium side, because I'll be posting more updates there daily. Um, yeah. Thanks, everyone. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the Hellstorm Shed, because <laughs> that's what it's going to be called. Bye-bye <laughs> now.